For me, the Indianapolis 500 is everything. Obviously, my family history at this famous racetrack is well documented. With my grandfather, Sir Jack, racing the first rear engine car into ninth place in the 500 in 1961. My dad, Jeff, had his last start in the race the year before I was born, and his face lights up with a smile every time we talk about what it's like to race an IndyCar on the world's greatest 2.5 mile super speedway. I've been racing full time in the US for more than four years, and just the thought of making my Indy 500 debut in the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500 makes my heart rate go up a few half hours. Just driving past the magnificent Indianapolis Motor Speedway on any weekday makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. Having the chance to sneak away and sit in pit lane by yourself as the sun creeps over the grandstands on race day is one of the most amazing experiences. The place is coated with history, and if you listen hard enough, you can almost hear the ghosts and champions of the past waving down the straight in the early Indiana spring breeze as the place comes alive. It has been the most brutal sporting venue for more than 100 years, where too many have paid the ultimate price. It is also a place where dreams can come true and where lives are changed forever sometimes on the final turn of the 200th and final lap. It is my dream to become just the third, third generation driver to qualify for the world's greatest spectacle in racing and etch the Brabham name beside that of Vukovic and Andretti. <laughs> Not bad company. For several years, I've had the privilege of walking the starting grid, watching all the last minute preparations for this great race. The fans, the bands, the flyovers, the military heroes, the anthem and emotional words of back home again in Indiana. Let you know there is no other place like it and no other place you'd rather be. I have visualized sitting in my car, slipping on my gloves, making last second adjustments to my belt and reacting instinctively to those most famous words in racing. Gentlemen, start your as we head into turn one, I have my dad on my shoulder, Sir Jack in my heart, and the rest of my family, friends, and supporters along for the ride. I have dared to dream. This is what I was meant to do. I am ready.